Hey guys, it's me, Arlene, Delicious Delights, and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be reviewing Musk Noir for Her from the house of Narciso Rodriguez. Not too long ago, I made another video unboxing this and sniffing it for the very first time and giving my first impressions. So if you guys are interested in that, I can link that down there. Anyways, I've been wearing this for about a week or a little bit over a week every single day now, and I will say right away that I am in love with Musk Noir. It is a beautiful, beautiful perfume. The top note is plum, the middle notes are musk and heliotrope, and the base note is suede. So on my skin, in the opening, I definitely detect the Narciso Rodriguez musk in here, but it's not it's not in the same way as I've smelled in the other Narciso perfumes. In Musk Noir, they have really taken their musk and really have toned it down a lot. They have made it a lot smoother, a lot more delicate, less harsh, less strong, and it is just like a very soft, smooth and airy musk in here. Along with the musk, I detect right away this beautiful suede leather note that is also very soft and delicate and very, very pretty. So it's mostly a musky and leathery scent um, with some sweet notes in here. It's plum, according to the notes, that doesn't smell like candy. It doesn't smell like a typical fruity sweetness at all. It's just like a little hint of a, a fruity sweetness that's like plummy or like grapey. And um, also there's this beautiful powderiness in here that just adds like another delicate touch to, to this fragrance. And as I said earlier, I am in love with this perfume. Some people have asked if I were to choose between Musk Noir and the La Belle Le Parfum Intense. I think that I would choose this one. I love both fragrances, you guys, a lot, but there's just something very classy and elegant about this one that is just phenomenal. Honestly, it is just a beautiful, sweet, suede, musky, leathery perfume that I'm picturing that... I would wear this if I'm dressed up. There is another perfume that this one kind of reminds me of. It's Hermes Queer d'Ange. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but that's also a very nice, soft, uh, delicate, suede, leathery scent. Um, I, I just adore it so much. There is a downside to this perfume, and I think some people might actually be put off by it, but the performance of this fragrance is not the best, you guys. On my skin, it lasts very long, like eight to 10 hours. However, it sits very close to the skin. It's pretty much a skin scent after like the first hour. So I'm not sure if it's the chemistry and how my skin reacts with this one, but I'll say that it is a very long lasting perfume, but long lasting in the sense that it's a skin scent to me. So I gotta put like my nose right up to it to smell it. And I know that with some people that will be like a big no-no and like a deal breaker, but for me, you know, I really enjoy this because it's so soft and subtle. This one is just making me feel very comfortable, very cozy, uh, and just put together. And as I said, I just really, really enjoy this one so, so much. It might even be a contender for the best release of 2021. And I know that we're still in the beginning of the year, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that this will make it in my top five for sure. So that was my quick review of Musk Noir for Her from Narciso Rodriguez. I would love to hear what you guys think of this in the comments. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.